Hello my dear friends, students and subscribers. Welcome back. This is Aman from Aman Driving School. Today in this video, we will try to discuss uh, how to deal with the shade traffic lights. Now shade traffic lights are those traffic lights in which we get the arrow lights as well as the main lights. Okay. Now suppose imagine that you are trying to turn left. Okay. Now this is your car here. Okay. You are trying to take left from this lane. Okay. Now when you are trying to take left, you see the main traffic lights. It might be red. Okay. The main traffic lights can be red. <clears throat> and you may get a green arrow. So what does it mean? So when the main traffic lights is red and you get a green arrow, then you are turning left okay and you get a left green arrow then you follow the left green arrow so left green arrow means it's a free left so usually when you get this green arrow uh, the you will get you will get the red light for the pedestrians if in case any pedestrian step in then you have to give way but usually it's a free left okay so when you get an arrow that means it's a free left and you can turn left easily but uh, if you see that green arrow is red okay uh, when you get an arrow red okay and you get the traffic lights the main traffic lights as green okay so you get the main traffic lights as green and you get the arrow as red and if you are turning left then you have to stop for that red arrow uh, because when the arrow lights are active the arrow lights overrules the main uh, traffic lights uh, if you are turning left you follow the arrow lights okay but if you are going straight you follow the green so you get a green light you keep going straight for the green lights okay now if for some time this arrow was red and then it disappeared uh, then you follow the main traffic lights if it is green you can continue with your uh, left turn okay so basically uh, for this green now when it turns green usually you may get green for the pedestrians also so this is usually a giveaway traffic lights so the arrow one was a free left so the other main lights will be the giveaway traffic lights so there should be someone whom you are trying to give way so that's why the arrow has disappeared so that means it's a shade it's a giveaway traffic lights so you you need to get, check for the pedestrians when you get this type of lights okay when you're turning left you are probably looking on the left side of traffic lights okay your focus is on the left side of traffic lights not on the right side of traffic lights okay so if you're turning left your focus will be on the left side of the traffic lights in the next scenario we will try to discuss uh, how we deal with those traffic lights if it's a turning right scenario now if you are turning right and you got a shade traffic lights okay so as i said previously uh, always the arrows overrules the main traffic lights now this is your car you are trying to turn right from here okay so when you are turning right you see if the arrow lights are active and if the arrow lights are active you just follow the arrow lights okay because you are turning right you don't look at the main lights but you look at the arrow lights okay now even if you got a red signal for the main lights but if you got a green arrow light so when you get a green arrow light it is a free right okay you don't have to give way to the oncoming traffic once you get a green arrow lights okay but if you got a uh, on the other case if you got green signal and you got a red arrow light then you stop okay you stop here because you you are just following the arrow lights when you are turning right if they are active okay now if you get a green arrow light and you see you're just uh, the cars going past but the green arrow light slowly turns to yellow and then it disappears so what does it mean so once the arrow lights disappear okay so in the absence of arrow lights 
you follow you follow the main lights okay now the arrow lights disappeared you got green light on so that means it's a giveaway light okay so when you are turning right in this scenario okay it's a giveaway right you don't have active arrow lights so you have to give way to the oncoming traffic so how far you can enter the intersection now so basically now this lane is going straight right so you have to keep clear this path okay okay and you see this lane it's also turning it's right so basically you have to keep clear them okay so you slowly start creeping in the intersection such that you are not stopping okay see you are not stopping this traffic okay so you you creep into the intersection in such a way that you're not in the way of this traffic and you're not in the way of the traffic which is turning from the oncoming okay so you be your side okay and once you get a safe gap okay check for the pedestrians also the other side if any pedestrian step in then it's better you stop here you don't stop here because stopping here is again blocking the oncoming traffic so basically you keep clear this traffic and keep your right indicator on unless you get a safer gap then you make a safe turn once you see there's safe gap there's no pedestrian you can keep going slowly okay uh, in some cases uh, you may find that this lane is only turning right it's right so there is no danger of you know there's no danger of the cars coming going straight through this line so in this case you can keep you can keep creeping or slowly keep moving till this spot here okay so at this spot you know because you're not blocking this traffic you're not blocking this traffic okay and that also gives you clear view of the safe gap in this lane so um, once you get a safer gap in this lane check for the pedestrians no one there then you can slowly make your right turn safely okay uh, now a lot of students i have seen is they keep going like that now that is wrong it's not like a roundabout now you don't force other traffic to go around like that now don't do like that that mistake okay you from the center point of the intersection try to be on your side okay so keep clear them and you know don't worry about this like that unless there is a roundabout or something you know you should be on your side while you're making your right turn when you get a if you get a green arrow then you don't worry about oncoming traffic you just keep going slowly okay but the arrow lights disappeared you got a main uh, signal as green that means it's a giveaway green signal so you give way to the oncoming traffic and once it is safe you would make your right turn okay. now see here guys ahead uh, we can see the shade traffic lights and uh, now if I'm turning left okay so I got a green left arrow lights now it turned yellow so as long as the green arrow was active uh, I could not make a turn when it was green so I will follow the main traffic lights if the arrow lights disappear okay now if it if if i would have got green arrow that was a free left now this is a giveaway lights so i check for the pedestrians before i turn left no pedestrians that is safe for me to turn left as you can see here uh, we don't get the left arrow so left arrow is disappeared so we just follow the green lights okay so guys just see here we got a shade traffic lights here okay now we may get left arrow green or not okay if you get a left arrow green since we are turning left uh, since i'm turning left so i'll just keep moving to my left side 
okay i'll just keep rolling to my left turn uh, so basically the arrow lights uh, they overrules the main main traffic lights okay now see the arrow lights here are dummy uh, so when arrow lights are dummy i just follow the main traffic lights okay now uh, since i don't get a left arrow as a green or red so i just follow the main traffic lights for my left turn here look at this traffic lights here you got a shade traffic lights here you got a giveaway traffic light which is which looks like a full moon i mean the full circle and you got a right arrow traffic light okay now since i am turning right so i will be following the right arrow traffic lights now when i get a green arrow that means it is a free ride so i can turn right without worrying about giving way to the oncoming traffic now here again we are approaching an another shade traffic lights okay uh, we got the main traffic lights which is green and we got a right arrow which is red so because we are turning right okay we follow the arrow traffic lights <coughs> as long as they are present okay now the right arrow we got red signal okay so when we get the arrow lights so we just follow the arrow lights if it is green that is a free right okay so when it is green you don't have to give way to the oncoming traffic we just follow our right turn because for oncoming traffic it will be red signal so when we get a green arrow that is a free right okay now we got a free right see this oncoming cars they are stopped we just continue with our right turn now see this intersection here if they if they give you the instruction turn right at the next traffic lights into the left lane so this is the only lane which turns right so the left lane is either going straight or the left so you have to turn right from this only lane here so since this only lane turns right you got a choice whether you can join your left lane or the right lane after you make a turn okay now you look for the oncoming traffic yeah you you just got only one giveaway traffic light here you don't have arrow lights here that's what i mean and when you look for the oncoming traffic lanes you got the rightmost lane only turning right okay and the left lane for the oncoming either it's going straight or left so when i get green i slowly creep into the middle of the intersection such that i give way to the oncoming traffic see this car i'm just giving way to this car so that i don't stop them and also i keep clear for the traffic which are turning right from the oncoming but now there is no car turning right so i can slowly creep in uh, okay now just make sure that this this car is stopping on and now i can turn right like that Thank you very much for watching my videos. Uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe my channel and uh, hopefully I'll be making more videos. Thank you.